It's Toronto Comic Con today, and it's the first time I've been in four years. It's been forever, and I'm really excited to go comic hunting, see the attractions, maybe find some video games, some Lego Marvel Legends, and of course, Magic the Gathering. Hopefully we can find some of that. Here's my wife right now. I'm wearing my Drive jacket. Obviously, the jacket Ryan Gosling wore in the movie Drive. Uh, that's my nerdy attire for the day. Not quite a cosplay, just the just a jacket, really. My wife isn't wearing anything, uh, but that's she actually doesn't really have anything nerdy to wear. Uh, maybe I, I can buy there. Maybe we'll buy her a T-shirt when we're there. Who knows? Anyways, we're on our way now. We're gonna grab the subway and then we're gonna head to Union Station and to the convention center. All right. Wow, bringing back a lot of familiar feelings here. Hey, look, see Marty McFly. We got our first cosplayer there that I recognize. Just putting on my chastity belt here. Custom dice, metal dice sets. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, he's 50% off. This is all Conan, so it's got to be like somewhere. Actually, we're going to end it. Cash for magic cards. They're selling comics. I don't see any magic cards here at all. So I guess they just buy them. They don't. Uh, they don't sell them here. There we go. We got some card game stuff here. Pokemon. You guys have Magic the Gathering at all? Not here, but we do yeah. have it in the store. In the store. Okay. So are you guys in Toronto at all? Uh, Brampton. Brampton. Okay. okay. Uh, so just loading up some cards here. Maybe there's some magic cards here as well. Maybe, maybe. Oh wow. Hey, that's cool. Do you guys have any Magic the Gathering cards? Not at all. Not at all? That's really cool. Wow, a lot of Marvel Legends here. X-Force. I remember this as a kid. I remember seeing this as a kid. I wanted it. More cards. I think they are just sports here, though. Yeah, it looks like it's just sports cards. No Magic the Gathering. Still? Still yet to find any Magic the Gathering. Oh, I think they might actually have Magic the Gathering. We got some Pokemon stuff here. Oh, I used to have this. I actually used to have this card. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Sweet. Have fun. <laughs> wow. I have a few of these, Chase. Very cool. It was the first place we found today that had magic. Really? Yeah, it wasn't a lot of places that had Magic the Gathering. I only show it off when someone asks. Yeah. <laughs> How much are your damnations? So, the binder is my partner's. He's saying everything we're doing is listings online, 10% off. 10% off? Yeah. Like Look with our you. Pokemon, we go based off TCG player. TCG player, so same yeah. Thing kind of with same thing here. TCG market, I guess. Is exactly. The, yeah. You take multiple, we could do a better deal too. Um, oh. I'm just not knowledgeable. I think that's a. Yeah. That's beta. How much is this? I'll check for you. Yeah, check online. That's sweet. That's, a, that's like a lottery card. There's like one in like a thousand packs. Yeah. Same this one, this one as well. Oh, cool. Custom tokens people made for playing. Yeah. That's cool. Ten bucks. Ten bucks? 
Yeah, I can do 10 on that. So this is Artist Alley. It's where artists come to show off their work and you can actually buy signed printings or comics or any of their other work like this. That's really, really cool. It's nice anime art. Got a lot of the retro series here. You got Gwen Stacy. I have a, a lot of these black cats actually right down here. Dark Beasts, we got Storm. Mini Mates, did you guys ever collect those? I never got into them, but I got a little bit into Lego. Let me know if you guys have gotten into those in the comment section. If those are something you'd ever buy, or if you actually do collect them. Got some retro series Ninja Turtle figures as well as G.I. Joe. Looky, looky what we found here. Zendikar packs, wow. Shadows in a show, a lot of uh, old vintage stuff. I actually found a Portuguese version of this pack. I think it was the exact same one in uh, Porto Alegre, Ultimate Masters box top of their sealed. That's wicked. I opened one of these packs recently on the channel. You should check it out. <laughs> I got destroyed in value. So this section is where you can actually like meet some celebrities. See the voices of Sailor Moon there. R2-D2. Nice. Do you guys have any other Magic the Gathering packs or is this it? Oh, uh, we just have booster boxes. Oh, right? booster boxes. Oh, cool. Okay, so they have booster boxes as well. I'm doing a price check on some of the cards that I picked out in this binder. I came back, I wanted some uh, expeditions and maybe some Pokemon too. It's been a while. We're back home after our experience at Toronto's Comic-Con at the Metro Toronto Convention Center. It's been four years since my last appearance there and I was thrilled to be back. Love seeing all the vendors there, all the cosplayers and all the attractions. It was a fantastic experience. We didn't buy as much stuff as I thought I was actually going to buy, but I was mostly on the hunt for Magic the Gathering cards, which is actually pretty rare to find at these conventions. Usually you find a lot of Pokemon. Uh, you find a lot of action figures and comic books are definitely the main attraction, but we didn't get any of that, anything like that. We ended up getting some magic cards from the same seller. We went there, he was one of the first booths that we actually saw that had Magic the Gathering cards, and we bought one card, which was Stone Rain, and he actually sold this to me for $10. The market price for this is around 25 to 30. It's not in the greatest condition, but it's definitely not in, damaged at all. This is, I'd say, moderate play, so fantastic deal on this beta Stone Rain. And then we went back and we we made another deal on a few cards, uh, Mystic Gate, Expedition from Battle for Zendikar, Flooded Grove, and we actually got one Pokemon card, uh, Raichu Fossil Holographic. Now we got all three of these for $100, which is absolutely insane. I pretty much... That, that, that's pretty much uh, the price for this Mystic Gate, this is like around $120. So the other cards were free. Uh, pretty much the other cards were free. I couldn't believe the deal he gave me, so I, I definitely uh, snatched these up, and I'm thrilled to add these to my collection. Let me know what your experience was like at Toronto's Comic-Con down below, and I would love to hear your thoughts on Comic-Cons in general. Are you happy they're back? Do you think they're crowded? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys, and also to my coffee fund, because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.